Welcome today to the Oliver House, which is a 1933 Rudolf Schindler house and one of the most recently designated monuments in the city of Los Angeles. R.M. Schindler was a modernist architect in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s. He's primarily known for modernist houses that really manipulate sculpture space, indoor-outdoor relationships, light and air in all the rooms, and really was the bedrock of the modernist movement in Los Angeles. Freestanding furniture was a component of his residences. They're able to work with the sculptural space, help form the sculpture of the space. In this house particularly, you'll, you'll notice that the furniture also creates a, an alcove for a piano. So a piano is part of the living room, but is concealed from it. And it's all part of how Schindler manipulated space in the sculpture. Well, the reason I applied for the historic status was because it might be important these days for people to think in terms of simple design as a way to improve the quality of life rather than more, 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 more. It's a very small house. It's 1,275 square feet. I think it's smaller than, by far, than all the other houses that have since been built here. But it's enough, and it's beautiful, and it's a lovely thing to live in it, and it doesn't need all the all the extravagance that seems to be going on these days. So I think there's an important lesson for our times in you know, cutting back a little bit and, and just enjoying nature. It's an indoor-outdoor house. You really feel like you're part of the world around you. You're not shut off in a house, but it's a beautiful thing to just live simply with nature. So I think this house is a good example of how to do it on a very modest level. It's good design.